Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. I'm out here at a sheep farm I haven't been to in a very long time, so hopefully we can save some relics, save some history, show you what we got. Look at that behind me. It's Josh from 508 Magnets. He's digging his hole right now, so make sure you go check out 508 Magnets. Check out his channel. I'm sure he'll have a video from today as well. We're going to go out. We're going to try to save some history. we got a big field behind us. we got more fields in front of us. We'll let you know what we got. Well, I finally got something here. It's not that too crazy, but it's definitely a gear to a uh, pocket watch or a clock of some sort. So hey, some kind of piece of history, you know, we'll take it and uh, we'll keep on going and see what else we can find. I know that uh, Josh, oh, I just dropped it, Josh found a uh, pretty cool piece of history here as well already a little while ago. And uh, I'll have to go to his channel and check it out and see what he's got. Look at what we have here. Hello. Hi. Don't bite the fence. What are you doing? Don't bite the fence. It's my little friend here watching us dig. All right, let's get back to swinging. I'm in here with the little pony and the sheep now. We're gonna see what we can find. I just found a little tiny piece of brass something. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, just threw it in my pouch, but we're gonna keep going and uh, see what we can find in here. Well, just dug up this in the pen, and I believe what this is is a uh, hoof scraper or a cleaner. I believe that's what it is, a little tool. It cleans the hoofs of uh, horses. So, hey, pretty cool. Not sure what this is, but it's a little a little clasp on both sides, so I don't know if this is a piece of suspension clasp or something else, but if anybody knows, let me know. It definitely seems to be a little crushed and, of course, seen some better days, but it's a relic of some sort. So we're at a different location right now. We are at my peacock farm, and uh, the hay field is way too high. So I just got my first good signal here. We just got here a few minutes ago, and it's a weedy. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like a circle here. Um, <laughs> could be other stuff in the hole. I know I put my pinpointer down there. And there was stuff. But I don't know what it is. But it looks like a 1938. So hey, we'll take a 1938 Weedy. First good coin of the day. So I'm out here. in like the tree line. And there's an old stone wall that goes through here. And uh, there's Steve. And uh, this area just beyond where Steve is swinging right now, used to have an old store on it. I'm not sure if this is anything from the store or it's just something of age. Um, definitely seems to be old. It has a number 50 on the back. I don't know if there's anything else on it. 50 and an N. And there may be something in the middle of it. So, I don't know. Possibly I'll be able to ID it. Or if any of you can ID it and let me know what this might possibly be. I'd appreciate it. And we'll keep on swinging, saving history. Look at that. It's a little mangled, but I'm excited to have this. Look at the tines. This is an old piece of suspender clasp. Look how fancy that is. Oh, what a beautiful piece of history. Woohoo! I am happy to have that. We'll keep plugging along. I just pulled this little button. It says Street Worn. Never heard of it. I don't think it's very old. Maybe 1950s. I don't really know, but pretty cool. We'll take it. All right, looks like got another wheat scent. Oh, yeah. Definitely sounded really good. Sounded way better than a wheat scent should. And looks like a 58D, maybe. All right, just made it. Keep swinging. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a whole lot for finds, but we got some good stuff, and we had some fun, got some swinging in. I was able to hang out with Josh from 508 Magnets, so please, if you haven't followed 508 Magnets, go over there, check out his channel. There's magnet fishing, there's metal detecting. Every once in a while, him and I are able to get out and uh, go swinging together. Uh, one of these days we'll go magna fishing together too, um, no doubt about it. So, um, And I had the vice president from my metal detecting club, Steve, out with us uh, on today's hunt too. So it was fun. It's always good to get out with other people. And um, hey, we saved some history. 
and uh, had a good time. So thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out because the 800 subscriber video is coming soon and we'll be doing a live and you do have to be present for the live to be able to win. So thank you very much and we'll see you soon.